artificial intelligence think? Can a robot think? Can a machine have a mind? Uh, can a machine be conscious? Can AI be conscious? And so all of these questions are basically questions about sort of what is consciousness? What is it to have a mind? What is it to think? Um, as we've been looking at in Searle, the question is, what is it to understand? What is it to have intentional mental states? And uh, one sort of theory that it's good to kind of have in the background, and a theory which Searle is arguing against, uh, is something known as functionalism. So you can, if you read really closely, you'll notice functionalism shows up a couple times in the Searle article uh, on page 423 and then uh, somewhere else too. And both times he mentions it, it's sort of in the context of saying uh, functionalism and strong AI are kind of saying the same thing when it comes to this topic, and so they're wrong for the same sort of reason. And so what is functionalism? Well, functionalism is basically the idea that what is it to have a mind? What is it to have consciousness? What is it to be able to think? It's uh, to be uh, sort of carrying out certain functions. And so a mind is something that carries out certain functions. And what are those functions? Well, think about the sorts of things that your mind does, that your consciousness does. So uh, when you have beliefs about the stove being hot, this causes you not to touch the stove. Um, when you feel that the stove is hot, when your hand is on it, it causes you to pull your hand back. When you understand uh, what the word for uh, potato is and you want to eat potato, you ask uh, the cook to cook you some potatoes. You use the word potato or aloo to ask for the food. Um, and sort of all the different things that consciousness does. So when you're conscious of something uh, coming at you because you observe it with your eyes, you avoid it, things like this. So this is what consciousness does. There's, these are sort of the functions of consciousness for us. And functionalism says anything that sort of does that, anything that carries out all of those tasks, that is a mind or that is what it is to be conscious. So how do we do these things? Well, we have a nervous system that's hooked up to various parts of our body and the nervous system carries signals to our brain. And then our brain is also uh, controlling the body through the nervous system and sort of stuff is coming in and stuff is going out. And so we use our consciousness through our nervous system and our biological bodies to do sorts of things. But according to the functionalist, there's lots of ways you could carry out that function. So the way we move around and the way we observe things and make decisions is by using our brain. But you could build a robot that observes things and makes decisions by using wires to move around. Or you could uh, have it some other way. I'm not sure sort of how you would do it, but it doesn't really matter. As long as it's carrying out the correct functions, then it has a mind. And uh, notice it doesn't have to be the exact same functions as a human being, so it doesn't have to be able to move an arm. Why? Well, because of course I'd still be conscious even if you chop off all of my arms. We could imagine I'm sort of just a head sitting there. We might think that would still be conscious. So we could imagine maybe a robot could be conscious just sort of sitting in a computer. Maybe it doesn't have to move around, things like this. So there's debates about what exactly are the functions. You might say, no, I actually need to be able to move around to be conscious, stuff like that. We had a brief talk about this when it came to plant consciousness earlier in the class during one of the lectures. So we were talking about, can plants be conscious? And some people were saying, yeah, sure, they sort of react to stuff and they contract the sun. And other people were saying, look, plants basically just sit there, they don't do anything. And so the functionalist would say, um, I mean, the functionalist, can, it depends. The functionalist might say, no, you know, tracking the sun, that's enough to be conscious. Or they might say, no, you need to be able to do a lot of things to be conscious. So the basic thought is functionalism is whatever carries out the function makes you conscious. And you can probably understand why Searle disagrees with functionalism. Why? Because the person in the Chinese room can carry out all the functions of speaking Chinese. They get Chinese in and they put Chinese out. But Searle says he doesn't understand Chinese. He's not conscious of Chinese. Or the robot that can carry out all the things of eating in the restaurant, but there's just a guy inside pulling on the levers. He, Searle says, the robot isn't conscious of doing anything. So functionalism is uh, kind of a counterpart of strong AI, and it's something Searle is rejecting in this article.